Nuclear energy is absolutely on fire right now. And there were two massive deals announced just this week. Alphabet getting into the nuclear game. So is Amazon. This follows Oracle and Microsoft earlier this year signing deals to either build small modular reactors or in Microsoft's case, reopen Three Mile Island, which has been closed for about five years. That's going to be opening by the end of the decade. So what is the momentum that's going on right now? What's driving all these stocks higher and where sh what should you be doing as an investor? That's what I'm going to dig into. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. And of course, check out Asymmetric Investing, my newsletter. You can see the link on the screen here. And then I got a link in the show notes as well. But I want to dive into the massive news from the week from two of the biggest companies in tech in just a second. Heads up folks, interest rates are falling, but you can lock in a 6% or higher yield with a bond account from public.com today. And this is a pretty big deal because when interest rates drop, so can the interest you earn on your investments. A bond account allows you to lock in a 6% or higher yield with a diversified portfolio of high yield and investment grade corporate bonds. And you can see on the screen an example of what this looks like. The great thing is you know exactly what you're buying. So while other people are out there watching their returns shrink, you can sit back with a regular interest payment, but you might want to act fast because your yield's not locked in until you invest. The good news is it only takes a couple of minutes to sign up at public.com, lock in a 6% or higher yield with a bond account only at public.com forward slash ASYM. I'm going to start with Alphabet and specifically Google. They signed a deal with Kairos Power to build multiple small modular reactors. Now, this is one of the reasons that New scale power has, is up about 50% over the past week. They are a small modular reactor company. What's a little bit strange is they're not actually the company that's announced in most of these deals. So I'll kind of go through that. But the market and the investors are looking for where in the world do you find exposure to this industry overall? So what we know right now, Kairos Power is going to be the company building these nuclear reactors. What they do is it is a fluoride salt cooled high temperature reactor novel advanced reactor technology that aims to be cost competitive with natural gas in the US and provide long term reduction in cost. So privately held company, that's who Google is making this deal with not one of these big public companies where you've seen the stock soar over the past week. And these reactors are not coming online anytime soon. The initial phase is going to be by 2030. And then there may be more reactors by 2035. That's what we know from this agreement right now. The other deal was announced on Wednesday. That's from Amazon. Signs agreements for innovative nuclear energy projects to address growing energy demands. All of these things are related to artificial intelligence and the energy demand from AI. So they said that they have signed three new agreements to support development of small modular reactors. And as part of this deal, they are making an investment in X energy. This is going to be again, a little bit like the Google deal, a privately held company that's developing the technology to build these small modular reactors. There's going to be two utilities that are involved with this. And that's typically how these things work is that these big tech companies are not going to be buying energy from the reactor themselves, they're going to be buying energy from a utility that owns the reactor. And this is an agreement with Energy Northwest, a consortium of state and public of state public utilities. And then the other one is with Dominion Energy. And that's to explore the development of small modular reactor projects near their to their North and a nuclear power station. That would be about 300 megawatts. So these are relatively small reactors. That's the point of a small modular reactor. A typical larger nuclear reactor is gonna be more like a gigawatt in size, so a thousand megawatts. But these are gonna be much smaller, but they are gonna be dedicated to these artificial intelligence applications. Typically, energy is gonna be going into the traditional grid, but it's gonna offset the demand that is associated with these data centers. But that's not the only thing that caught my eye this week. The Sierra Club has actually been one of the organizations that's been fighting nuclear energy for quite a while now. This is the Sierra Club site, the Nuclear Free Future. This has been one of their big things. But in a report that came out recently, they said that demand from artificial intelligence is going to mean we're going to need more energy, even from nuclear. Clean energy, clean energy standards are fundamentally technology neutral, allowing for storage, geothermal, and even nuclear and high performance carbon capture to participate as cost effective. This is as part of their demanding better report. And this is big news because this is one of the roadblocks that a lot of these reactors have faced is organizations like this saying, hey, we don't want these nuclear reactors being built. If this is now an advocate 
that could be a phenomenal tailwind for the industry trying to get these small modular reactors off the ground. So where is their money to be made off of this industry and the growth that we have? There's a few places that have just been absolutely on fire in the market over the past couple of weeks. One of those is New Scale Power. This is a company that's developing small modular reactors, industry leading provider, proprietary, innovative, small, small module reactor technology. That's at least how they frame themselves. Another one that's done extremely well is Aklo. This is a company that is backed by Sam Altman. So all the ties that he has with everything artificial intelligence makes sense that this would be a company that's at least getting a lot of attention from investors. Here's the problem with both of these companies. They don't make any money. I don't mean they don't make profit. I mean, they don't have any revenue. These are pre-revenue companies who are at best signing deals that aren't going to generate a significant amount of revenue for them for a few years, potentially into the 2030s. So these are still very speculative investments, but there are ways that you can get exposure to nuclear energy through less speculative ways. So let's go through a few of those. Constellation Energy is the company that owns Three Mile Island. So they're the one that is working with Microsoft to reopen that plant, or at least the part of the plant that was operational until about five years ago. So that's gonna be one way to get exposure to this. I mentioned Dominion Energy. That's another company investing in small modular reactors, also owns its own nuclear power plants today. But I think some of the better ways may actually be the companies that are independent power producers that you can invest in directly. Now they haven't gotten into nuclear yet, but Brookfield Renewable Partners would be, I think, a natural place. They own wind and solar assets today. Makes sense that they would be one of the companies funding new nuclear power plants, but that's something that hasn't been funded in the past, so that isn't something they currently have exposure to. Next Era Energy and Next Era Energy Partners is another company that I could see being one of the bigger financiers of nuclear power plants. But I think generally utilities and the companies that are actually going to be distributing the power, building the power plants, that's going to be powering the artificial intelligence boom that we're seeing today. That's why these deals are going to be signed. That's going to be tailwinds for all of the utilities in the U.S., so I don't think you can wrong, go wrong just building a basket of utilities because they're all going to be benefiting from the growth in artificial intelligence. But hopefully this gives some context to the biggest news of the week. We now have Oracle, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon all investing directly or indirectly in nuclear energy, in particular small modular reactors. So this could really take a new boom in the energy industry in the US. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Again, I got a link down below in the comments and in the show notes. Subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you here next time.